Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Sammy with MRP on our CUV 400 assembly, straight out of the crate. Uh, last time we were here, we pretty much went through uh, the assembly of the suspension, the wheels, and pretty much just prepping it up, getting it all ready to this point. Now that we're here, we're pretty much, I'm just going to go ahead and recap with you everything that was done, just to give you a refreshing. Uh, for those of you who are interested in this vehicle, this is a very rugged, very fun, very durable CUV. One of the best I've seen. So we're going to go and recap exactly what it takes to assemble this, should you purchase it, which I recommend. And uh, let's just go ahead and go through it. Alright, first thing we did was pretty much get out the crate. I'm going to go ahead and lift up this. Alright. On this particular model, it always suggests for you to go ahead and go ahead and assemble the suspension in front and rear. In our case, we went ahead and did the rears first because the front suspension is already assembled. All you got to do is just pretty much bolt it on. Rear suspension, it's an independent suspension. These come prepped, boxed up. You actually have to install them complete yourself. We went ahead and installed the first top bolt and your rear bolt. Once you do that, you're in place. Remember, anything that has threads, thread lock, just so you have a good secure tight fit. Once we did that, we went ahead and did both left and right. Right to left on the front. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Once you have your suspension intact, everything's good to go. Now one note on the front suspension, you do have to connect your tie rods, which is right here. These come pre-assembled already. All you gotta do is just pretty much hook it up right to the suspension arm. Once you do that, make sure it's secure. They come with cotter pins, you put them at the bottom, you're good to go. Next step we performed on our first chapter of assembly was putting on front and rear wheels and tires. These front and rear wheel tires, they already come already installed. All you gotta do is just fill them up to air. Uh, we put eight PSI. Some people run five, you can run up to 10. All depends on the, 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 the terrain you're running in and the situation. On this particular model, we're going APSI, it just works perfect. So we went ahead and did all that, installed them. Everything was real nice and good, clean install. All right, just so that you don't get mixed up, always remember, front wheels and tires are thinner, the rears are wider. Some people have actually mixed those up and when it comes time to put the front ones on, it actually rubs on the suspension. Just remember, front thin, rear wide. All right. One more note that I want to share with you guys. On this particular model, once you go ahead and put the front suspension on, on your tie rods, it's very similar to an automotive vehicle. If your front wheels are not aligned with the steering wheel, which I'm going to get to here in a minute, you have to perform an alignment. Alignments are very simple, don't get intimidated. All it is is straightening out the wheels in accordance to where the steering wheel is straight. Let me get some light here so you can see. And we'll go ahead and talk about it. Pretty basic. You have your lock nut, which you're gonna go ahead and uh, loosen up. I like to put a reference point, a little mark there, just so you know you always end up at that lock spot. And then at this point is where you would pretty much adjust it. You know, clockwise, counterclockwise. By doing so, you'll see your wheels actually straightening out or widening out. It takes about 5-10 minutes, but once you get it nice and straight, you're good to go. Just go ahead and lock it up. Make sure your marks align and you're good to go. In this case, as a good reference point, always make sure your steering wheel is exactly straight in accordance with straight wheels. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and talk about that a little later. But uh, that's pretty much a recap of what we've done. Now, since the last videos, we've installed the steering wheel. In this particular model, the whole steering wheel assembly comes already packaged, ready to go. All it takes is to slide it into the splines, into the shaft, which is below. And you're going to have two bolts that hook up right to the frame. This particular model, it's really nice, really convenient. The bolts are already on there, so you don't have to look for them. You don't have to find them, they're already there. Just put them on, tighten them up, use thread lock, and you're good to go. Make sure when you put the splines on that your steering wheel is straight. That way when you do your alignment in the front, as we just spoke, 
everything's good to go and you don't have to go back and disassemble and do it again. And we have installed the front cowling or you could say the hood. This particular model is very simple. It already comes with the screws that you need. These are already prefabbed on there. So all you're gonna do is just latch it on. Same with both sides. Now a little later we'll talk about installation of the headlights. Pretty basic. You have two plugs on each side and they'll go to the plugs already here on the frame. Once we're all said and done, we'll go ahead and plug those up. Once the battery's in, we'll check for power, check for lights, turn signals, and whatnot, and then we'll be good to go. So this has pretty much just been a recap. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, follow through step by step on the, the next procedures. As you can see, we just have a, quite a bit, a couple things here, pretty much cosmetics and uh, aesthetics, the bumper, whatnot, front rails, top rails, and last but not least, the bed. This will be the last of it. Reason we're going to do that last is so that once you get an idea of what you're doing, the engine is pretty much centered right underneath the, the bed. Now this model comes with the shock absorbers so that when you actually tilt it back, this is all exposed. But before we put it on, we just want to do a double check, just make sure everything's good, fluids, uh, just pretty much everything that's ready for the function. The, the function, you know, and the mechanical side of the motor. That way when it comes time and everything's assembled, all we gotta do is just fire it up and we'll be good to go. So this has pretty much just been a recap. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start working on it, assemble some parts as we do. We'll go step by step. That way you guys at home who purchase this vehicle can know exactly how to build it and get on the road. Or in this case, get mudding. And we'll talk in a little bit.